Said it's been down since half 11 last night in mm. Burnley. He's working nights, basically no phone to use. is painful. Wouldn't mind, and this is, goes to your point about we finally had a statement mm. from them, wouldn't even mind if they just communicated with us. Yeah, a lot of people pointing out... Touch this morning. Thanks, man. Yeah. Ten minutes past eight is the time. The Labour MP, Dame Louise Elman, has quit the party after 55 years, saying that Jeremy Corbyn is not... 10,000 protesters have taken to the streets in a third night of violent unrest in the Spanish city... The children's book, uh, 11 minutes past eight now is the time. One more story to bring you. The children's book, The Gruffalo, is being celebrated on a new set of 50 pence coins which depict the Beast's first meeting with Mouse. In the Johnson was supposed to be going to Brussels to meet the other 27 European leaders. The idea was that maybe a deal could be done. This morning, the DUP, crucial to the votes here in the UK, have rejected the potential deal saying they could not support what is being suggested. Why is that important? The Prime Minister is likely to need the support of the DUP and then former Conservative MPs who lost the whip last month for voting to block no deal. Now, one of them is actually talking to us this morning. Um, Pleasure, morning. I've got to get your reaction, really, on the latest line from the DUP about it not being able to support this deal in its current form. What do you make of that? How would you vote if this deal is presented? And there are so many ifs, aren't there? If this deal is presented on... And there, our deputy um, assistant political editor going through um, the latest twists and turns in Brexit. 8.35 is the time. Let's bring you up to date with some other stories this morning. Extinction Rebellion activists are protesting at a number of tube stations this morning. British Transport Police reporting disruption at three stations in East London. A longer statement uh, confirming they're experiencing technical difficulties. A longer statement uh, confirming they're experiencing technical difficulties. The week, and that was reported to be one of the issues. We will see what happens, Ben. Thank you. I did just look at their account again. Nothing. Still not there. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Um, it's coming up to 20 minutes tonight. Such a busy morning already. Um, and so much more coming up as well on breakfast. You're a really interesting one, though, because we know that these two are, are great friends. They've grown up together. Owen Farrell, the England captain, and George Ford. They've been playing together throughout the group stage, but Eddie Jones, obviously, is getting to the business end of the tournament now, choosing to start Owen Farrell ahead of uh, George Ford, who's been dropped. So Owen Farrell being restored to his sort of original Who position. Who gets to face Australia. Exactly. Uh, we've been showing you pictures about um, which have shown commuters clashing with Extinction Rebellion activists at a number of tube stations in East London this morning. Yes, uh, pictures appear to show protesters being pulled off the roof of trains by commuters. Uh, we've been showing you pictures about um, which have shown commuters clashing with Extinction Rebellion activists at a number of tube stations in East London this morning. Yes, uh, pictures appear to show protesters being pulled off the roof of trains by commuters. Let we're taking out. You were, the, the idea was there was stuff you didn't like to see or hear happening in the Commons. Yeah, um, we felt like the language... Like is, passions run high. People are trying to make a point. They are trying to make an impact and we live in extraordinary times. Is that an excuse? I mean, it d does that in any way make what you see more palatable? Um, I wouldn't say... It's Are we going to see a difference? Are we going to find it a little bit more boring to report on PMQs, for example, because they're going to behave better? Um, after this programme, Rip Off Britain is on BBC One. Uh, Gloria, Angela and Julia will always be challenging, but of course they... For maybe you're looking for a little bit of calm this morning. How about this for an minute? Time now is 8.59. Let's go back a bit in time. For 30 years, she was Princess Margaret's lady-in-waiting and remained one of her closest confidants until she died. In a new memoir, Lady Glen Connor reveals intimate details of their friendship, as well as those of her own life, and their relationship will... 